Uh, Jewish. That's what I am. Uh, all right, there we go. Three people were really excited. Everyone else, I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm scared a little bit. I'm holding a pen. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm finally learning to accept myself as a Jew. It's been hard. Uh, because I don't feel like I have a choice. <laughs> because even if I say I'm not Jewish, <laughs> I, I can't deny it. I mean, it's, it's in my DNA. I, I don't want, the, I didn't swipe right on this. Uh, and uh, 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 people don't know how to talk to me. I had a friend of mine who I knew for years, and one day he turned to me and he said, are you one of those orthopedic Jews? <laughs> So I told him I was a general practitioner Jew. <laughs> I charged him accordingly. Uh, and thing too, by the way, I I hate uh, uh, addressing and like feeding the flames on any kind of racial stereotypes. I can't stand it. And yet, the older I get, the more of a cliche Jew I become. <laughs> like about five years ago, I suddenly loved lox and bagel. <laughs> But this is the greatest food ever. Uh, I can digest this. That's, by the way, that phrase, I can digest this, that's what all Jews say about that person at the time. Nothing's, there was a restaurant that closed around the corner, which was horrible because they had a great broth. That's, that's what we do. Other people get tattoos, and they're tatted out, and they look sexy, and they walk around, and they go, and they have orgies. We don't, we don't do that. I, I will never be at an orgy. What am I going to do at an orgy? I'll, just, I'll be standing in the corner with orange slices. That's what I'm Two people will be making love in front of me, and I'll be like, you should get that mold checked. At least. Looks like it might be a problem. <laughs> not at all. I'm not remotely sexy. I think the sexiest thing about me is that I drive a Honda. I really <laughs> like if you list all the things about me, uh, uh, to, women would go, oh yeah, Honda, Civic. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the sexiest thing. I uh, yeah, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not sexy. That's not. That's not who I am. I'm, I I no. I'm good with spreadsheets. <laughs> That's where I really kill it. <laughs> and I'm noticing. I'm looking around. Yeah, a few couples. A few couples in the audience. I just want to. I just want to say to all the couples in the audience. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't need this. this love in my face. This, this, this joy and happiness right in front of my. No. I do have a request for all the couples in the room when you're when you're walking down the street and you're holding your hands and you're in the throngs of your passion. Uh, pick up the pace. I'm tired of getting caught behind these women who are walking at the speed. No, not women. Couples. These couples who are walking at the speed of love. I'm trying to outrun loneliness and death. Move it. I have this sensation that everyone in the room is having so much more sex than I am. <laughs> Not right yeah. now. <laughs> right now. Well, maybe back there. I, I can't see what's going on back there. You know, hopefully it's just, you know, be, wear protection. That's where we go. Uh, and I don't, and I, and I, I I've, I've been, I've struggled with self-confidence for years. I, like, I, I don't like, I, I appreciate that you're listening to me because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. I can't, because it, it sounds male, but not masculine. <laughs> like, I don't have the kind of voice that can say, they will take our land, but they will never take our freedom. <laughs> I have the kind of voice that says, they're taking the land. <laughs> you guys are great, my name is Joshua Simon.